Hey guys, it's your girl, it's Danny Baby, and I'm back again with another video. And it's Vlogmas Day 13. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Oh, Okay guys, so in this video, y'all read by the title, I'm going to do a review on Nadua hair. Um, Pretty much, I this was part of my Black Friday shopping spree. You feel me? Like, I'm going to explain to y'all what exactly, like what hair is this. And I'm going to explain what type of wig it is. Um, why is, how did I get it cut like this? Because wigs don't usually come cut like this. I'm going to explain that. So I'm going to give y'all the real, I'm going to give y'all the tea on this hair. And yeah, I'm just feeling myself right now. Like this is a cute style. <laughs> All right, so guys, make sure y'all turn on your post notification bells. If you're new to my channel, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget. We are all on the road to 1k subscribers you hear me 1k and i know i'm gonna i'm gonna achieve it my mafia is gonna grow ain't no if ands or buts about that point blank period so let's get into this video guys you dig okay guys so pretty much i got my box and let me tell you something why did i choose let me move my feet before this camera rocks so, the reason why I chose Nadula Hair, um, first off, they're really good with customer service. They give amazing deals. And I feel like from the time I started using their hair, their hair is like long lasting compared to other hair brands. So, this is my top choice for like weave, bun weave, um, wigs. Any type of wig, maybe clippings, yeah. Any type of extensions, wig you, wigs you need. And accessories are the best people to go to. And yeah, so I'm going to show y'all what it came in. It says, ha Mer I was about to say something else. Merry Christmas, Nadula. Which is so cute. This is their logo. And I wasn't expecting, I never got a box like this. So thank you, Nadula. Um... They always send me a satin bag to store my um, wigs in. Like, I think I have, like, I think I have, like, four wigs by them. But I've made them. Minus this one. I didn't make this one. So, yeah. Um, When you open up the box, obviously it's empty because I'm wearing my hair. Um, Pretty much, this is what it comes in. It comes in a hairnet, a baggie, and... It will say bob and 12 inches, which I did get this in. It was blunt cut and straight 12 inches, but I didn't really like the fact that it didn't blend well. See, this is my actual hair color blended in with this, and it actually works. My hair almost got it. It touched my lips. <laughs> I know y'all peeped that when I went like this. Like, stay there. Stay there. So, this hair is so soft. So, 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 so soft. But we're going to get into that in a second. Um, Pretty much, I had cut this hair so that it blends well into my natural hair. And you would really not see the difference because it's layered. And it's giving me 2000s vibes. You feel me? Like, how they have that cut is from, like, short to long. It's giving me that type of vibe. Plus, it's curled in. That's mad cute. So, yeah. Um, I definitely did trip. I didn't go to no salon today. I literally took out my ponytail yesterday after my video uploaded. No, after I was... um, Before I uploaded my video, I took off my ponytail. And I was like, you know what? I need a new style. I'm not with it. So, I was like, you know, I got my wig. I ain't wear it yet. And I'm going to promote it. Because Nadula hair is dead bomb. Yeah, um, I cut this hair, 
And I'm explaining to y'all later on why you need to possibly cut the hair this way. It can work for you. So yeah. So yeah, um, pretty much once you take it out, this is all that's left. I'm not going to show the, the return track stuff, the postal return slip. I'm not showing that. But it came with this cute headband, and I definitely will be wearing this when I go on vacation. If I go on vacation, because Corona is still here. This is so cute. If I get to go on vacation once Corona is gone, I'm taking this with me. This is like a, it reminds me of like a, like what babies have on their headband. Uh, what babies have on their head when they're like in a photo shoot and it's like it reminds me of peonies I don't know if anybody knows what that is peonies are those tiny delicate flowers and they're really pretty so I like this I never really had a floral I've had floral husbands but not like this so I like that got a wig cap there's how many wig caps are in here doesn't even, maybe I'm bugging. It doesn't, I think there's, everything comes with two. So yeah, that's it in here. It's empty. But the box is magnetic and it's really good quality. I keep all my wigs, I'm going to keep all my Nodula wigs in the satin bags and the, bo the boxes I get. But Nodula, if you guys are watching this, please, please, please keep it coming with these. Keep it coming with the satin. The set of bags those are fire so yeah um let me put all this stuff back pretty much um i got this hair during black friday literally and i wasn't expecting to get any hair but here's the thing um the reason why i got this hair is because I could not find my, like, if you guys have watched my 18th birthday vlog, the hair I wore in that video, I could not find it. And that's an Adula hair, too. Like, I could not find it. And I was so upset. I was, like, getting frustrated because I thought <clears throat> usually um, when you aren't looking for something, that's when you find it. But it was getting really close to when I, like, to take my pictures in the winter or when we go out. For like dinners or whatever. Or we do like little occasions here and there. Plus I had a plan to um, do vlogmas in that hair as a review too. But if I can't find the hair then what am I going to do? So push came to shove and I got this hair. And this is not how it originally looked. It was literally a blunt cut. And... It did not curl on the inside. It curled on the outside like this. I didn't like that. So I curled it. I really, I put on my wig head and I, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to make it different. And it's really cute. It's 1B. That's my hair color. So it works really well. Uh, I do recommend that if you try to get a U shape, this is not like a closure wig. This is, um... A U shape wig. Literally, if you are um if you are watching this video and you are unsure or a beginner at getting to understand wigs, the different types of wigs from 360s to frontals to closures and U shape, let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong. I'm gonna educate y'all on it, and I'm actually gonna do a video on this, but just stay tuned for it. But for right now, I'm gonna explain what a U shape is right now. Pretty much a U shape um is going literally in a u like the the wig itself is is like cut and made into a u and the u is going to be open so you gotta like have a leave out a leave out is like where you leave out your actual hair that will be blended in with the hair that's going to be used which is the wig so try to get a wig that is as close to your hair color as possible because as you can see this really works i really like it like this was it's not my first time wearing a wig guys 
if you guys have been on my Instagram or my um other YouTube videos, y'all know I don't. This is not my first time wearing a wig. It's not. But it's my first time actually buying a wig that was already made. That's a first. Because I usually had... I not even trying to be like, oh, well, I'm bougie with it. No, like, I usually, like, I am very specific on what I want. And I always have my wigs made. Like, over quarantine, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my own wigs. And I learned. And then before I learned, my friend was making me my wigs. Nothing wrong in that. I love the wigs that she made me. She's made some bomb wigs. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, when I'm making my wigs, I am very exact on the exact measurement of my head. And if I know, like, okay, I want it a certain type of way, I don't want it to the point where it is so loose on my head that I feel like I gotta keep messing with my head every 10 seconds. Like, no, like, I want to be able to talk, move my head, move my hands, bop my, like, Come on. Come on. So, I always try to make my wigs to measure exactly to my head. Um, and I try to make sure the knots are bleached to the point where they're blending in perfectly with my skin. I always want to make sure my baby hairs are out and my lace blended in. And it's just a whole lot of stuff. Like, I'm, I'm very exact and precise when it comes to my hair so the fact that i got this wig was definitely uh taking a leap of faith because i know like most wig companies it's always usually one size fits all with some of them or some of them go by sizes and sometimes they're too large most companies give too much of a large size which is kind of it's kind of weird you get a small and you think it's a medium. You get a medium and you think it's a large. You get a large and you think it's a, a XXX large. Wait, that's mad backwards. Yeah, um, if I had to rate this hair on a scale of 1 to 10, to 10. Because look, I'm going to show you out right now. There's my brush. So, I don't know if you can see where my hair is or not. So my hair is really blended in well. I really wanted my hair to be really giving me 2000s vibe. Now when I brush it in, it's going to blend in. You see that? Like, try to get hair that matches your skin. Not, not your skin. If you get hair that's a frontal closure or 360 and it comes with like... It's already bleached or something or the lace is like two-toned try to or it's three or it's um i don't know 3d lace or something i think it's that or tra no transparent lace try to think about um if it's gonna blend in well like if it's gonna me melt in well and quick enough and if it's also gonna be able to withstand the bleaching process and is it gonna go perfectly with blending into your skin you want to also consider that because what works for one person doesn't work for the other you feel me like i can't compare a hairstyle on of like say if i was getting a frontal um or even this wig i can't compare what another girl did and if it's a frontal i'm getting and she's not even the same skin complexion as me but she's getting the same brand hair but not the same um like material wig or same lace like you can't really go off of that because the only thing you gotta pay attention to is like what exactly is she like is there anything i should take note of is there any products i should know about just in case like just think about that don't really think about oh well it's gonna work regardless because it worked for her you ain't gotta pay attention no, it works for one person, doesn't work for the other. And I'm not discriminating. Don't do me like that. I'm not discriminating against any other skin tone or whatever. I'm just saying that what works for 
one person doesn't work for the other, especially when it comes to lace fronts, 360s, or closures. You have to consider that. And let me tell you something. This is another thing. If you are a beginner, what what one company works for this person doesn't work for the next person. Just because, like, let's say this company y'all know about. I had them. I talked about them on my, my like way back when. What my friend could be wearing, like Yolisa or something. No one. She's not gonna wear Yolisa, but as an example, you cannot wear. She she wearing Yolisa, and I'm like, her hair is cute or whatever. And I'm not thinking nothing of it. I'm like, okay, I'm desperate. I'm kind of like desperate for hair. And I want to be all dolled up and stuff. And just have my hair done and everything. You can't just assume that the hair is good quality. Just because you, you see it at its first day. See how long it lasts. Because certain hair brands do lie to you. And yo, Lisa is one of them that do lie. Like, I'm so serious don't ever order from them guys i just love my hair i love this hair so much guys look how cute this is yo it's giving me straight 2000 vibes guys so yeah um just remember what i'm telling you take note of it and try to do your try to do your research because listen it's a learning experience when you're a beginner and learning how to wear hair extensions and learning different hair brands. It's trial and error and you're going to mess up here and there, but try to watch videos and try to take note of what brand is being talked about the most or which one is the most positive. Try to do that as far as like the quality, like qual it's not like they're not focusing on the money they're more focused on giving actual good quality hair try to focus on that and you'll see a difference so yeah um just love this hair i love it so this hair was blunt cut like i said and i cut it when i did it to blend in more and i curled it with my curling iron and the way i cut it is that it will blend perfectly well into my hair, as y'all can see. So, not every wig you have to cut, but just keep in mind that if you have, like, a long wig and your hair's type short, just consider, like, what can make the hair blend in more. You feel me? Like, you can't have... You can have short hair and have a wig, but unless it's a closure, it's not going to look right. It's really not. And unless you're like, okay, I'm going to just flat iron my hair or just like perm it or something. So it's always like flat. Um, I don't recommend that. I mean, I flat iron my hair. I flat iron my hair, but this hair is literally only for a week a week and like two days because that's literally like my hair appointment is going to come up real real soon so i just want a hairstyle that i can maintain i may even keep this in the like longer but i didn't want this for my birthday so yeah um um what else do i have to say i'm just trying to think um, if you guys end up blending in your hair and you want to achieve this look, if you want to achieve, like, the whole 2000s cut, try to, um, I'm going to show you out exactly what to do. You're going to take your hair, like so, and take your comb. You're going to do it like this. And keep in mind, the 2000s cut is kind of, it's not, like, straight. Or blunt, a blunt is straight up because it goes straight down. When it's a two thousands cut, it's literally like slanted, slanted. So if it's here, it has to be here. You feel me? So you're gonna be cutting down, but you also want to keep in mind it goes from short to long. So try to blend it in as perfectly as you can. So I do recommend doing that. Just take your comb. 
I just just cut 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 and down and just do that um me cutting my hair I'm not surprised because I'll do wild stuff and not really think twice about it till later like as far as my hair goes so yeah but I love this hair. I've loved this hairstyle ever since I've seen Aaliyah J with it. It's not a long hairstyle, but I feel like if I was to say, what would this hairstyle be good for? Like, if I was going to school or if I'm going to, like, a baby shower or something. Anything that that was good before COVID, pretty much. This hairstyle would be good for it. Because it's, sim it's simple, but it's still presentable and cute. And it frames my feet my features on my face which is so cute i love this hair and it's so guys it's super soft oh my gosh it is so soft go check out the link below and i'm gonna link their website and i'm actually gonna tell y'all what wigs in a second y'all should look at this way y'all do know so one thing you do need to take note of with this hair, you have to um put less heat on it as far as like washing it and drying it. And then as far as like flat ironing it. When I flat ironed it, I put it on like 10 or 15, 10 or 15. Um, This, when I got to the end, like you just hold it for like two seconds and it curled quickly. My flat iron was by Revlon. And it heats up very quickly. So, like, a 10 would be, like, 20. So, I like this. See how cute this is? Okay, my thumbnails out. <laughs> so, don't put too much heat on this. If you plan to get a wig... Do not add too much heat to it. Be smart about it and make sure you have a heat protector. For me, I, today I use Tresemme heat protecting spray. Usually I use Cantu shield protecting heat protecting spray. And it also has a sweet scent and it gives my hair a nice shine. But I ran out of it because I used so much of it my last wig. And when I went to go install my sister's wig, if y'all did not see that video, go check. Go check down below. Go look down below and hit the link. Because I'm going to have it in the description below. Y'all need to go see it. How I installed that wig in my sister's hair. So yeah. um, When you wash the hair, try to... What I do, I add silicone mix and natural hair soaps. Like Shea Moisture or Miele or Camille Rose. And when I, after I give it a nice deep condition and shampoo... I literally put a little bit of oil or something in my hands, a little tiny drop, and I just run it through the hair just to give it a nice silky feeling. And then I take a pants hanger and I literally clip the sides of the wig and I let it hang. You hang it in the shower or somewhere where it can drip, the, run, the water can run out of it. And yeah, by the next day it'll be dry, so... It works for me. I've always recommended that. I don't put my wigs inside of a hair dryer. It can easy well damage. Plus, this is virgin hair. You want to always take care of it. If you add too much heat to it, it's going to get, like, really damaged and stiff. Um, if you get, if you think about getting wigs, I do recommend a, head, uh, a headband wig, a U-shaped wig, or a... If you're a beginner or even clip-ins, um, I know I started off with, what was my first one? I started off with clip-ins. I started off with clip-ins and then I worked my, my, I worked my way up to, you know, the Demi Lovato colored, um, hair she had came out with? I had that in like a royal blue and then I worked my way up to like wigs and ponytails and stuff. So... It was definitely a learning experience. I learned that you can't keep... First of all, you can't stay with the same hairstyle if you're a girl. I'm sorry. Second of all, you had to take note of what you did wrong 
at first and make sure it doesn't happen again like if i go to school and i take a picture and i'm like two years later like why did i go to school like that like my lace was dead lifted who didn't why did y'all let me come out the house like that okay take note of it and don't let it happen again um those wigs are definitely protective hairstyles for headband wigs i have not gotten one i plan to get one but um i'm debating on a headband wig or a wig with bangs like a kinky haired one so yeah um if you get those type of wigs it would definitely be easier a headband wig you li it's literally in the name it's a headband wig all you gotta do is just literally put the wig on make sure your hair in the front is laid with baby hairs and stuff and it's flat and it blends in well with the hair that's all you have to do you can apply a headband of any choice hold on guys give me one second that was a mouthful i gotta get a water break <clears throat> Okay, that's better. <clears throat> so, um, if you plan to get a U-shaped wig, like I said, try to, if you know you're 4C hair, <clears throat> excuse, if you are 4C hair, get 4C hair. If you are 1B, get 1B. Please do not, do not do what, I just got a piece of something. I got a piece of like bonnet or hair in my mouth. What the hell? Pretty much, you don't want to get the wrong hair color because, um, say if I how I have one B hair and I got four C, my hair would stick out like a sore thumb because four C hair is like probably jet black. And then one B, if you have four C hair and you get one B, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb because my hair is like light. Plus, my hair changes, 1B hair changes color sometimes. It can change from, like, a shine to, like, brown sometimes. So, yeah. Try to match your hair exactly. If you don't know what type of hair, what type of hair you have or hair color you think you have. Um, if you've gone to a hair braider of any sort to get box braids, um, prison braids, like crochet or anything... Um, just ask your mom or even the hairdresser lady that you go to, like, cons like residually and ask them, um, what, what, the packet of hair I always get, what, what color is it? Just ask them or let them determine it and they'll tell you. I know I've always taken note that my times I've had to go get braiding hair, do my hair. Um, I know that. I always remember I have one B hair. Yeah, um, Nadula, y'all rock. Y'all dead rock. They always contact me. They always send me deals. They always try to, like, they, they communicate with you so well compared to other hair brands. Um, they are my top one. So y'all get a 10 out of 10. I love my hair right now. I would dead wear this. Uh, I can't talk today. I would dead wear this if I was traveling or anything or if I had to go to church. And I, I woke up and I'm like, I have prison braids in. When I say prison braids and y'all confused, like, I mean, like, your hair braided back in tiny braids. And you don't really, like, really, really tiny braids. And they're, like, sewed down. And you have a lever or something. You got your baby hairs out. And you got a bonnet on. I'll tell you, if I wake up on a Sunday and I got to go to church, I'm putting on this wig. Look at how easy it is. All you got to do is literally curl it and everything. Like, But this is where this is where the wig stand comes in. Because like I said, you don't want to add too much heat. You could put it on the wig stand and it's way easier. The only thing I do recommend, try, if you get a wig like this of any sort, try to add a headband and a clip in like a, like a clip but for a clip and um extensions i actually have like 500 of them because i used like 64 of them for like um hairstyles and stuff and little stuff i have to do 
think I've used it for like five wigs and whatever. I had to give the extras to like um my niece. So yeah, um I do recommend just adding an extra secure piece because clip-ins compared to the comb pieces do not secure your hair. Right now I have a comb piece, but like I already know I'm gonna add a clip in to which part because I don't want my wig flying off. Um, another thing I also want to take note of is y'all want to take note of is please add an elastic band, especially if you're getting any wig. Please add an elastic band if it's this type of a wig. You don't really need it. Just your clip ins you need. But if you're getting like a closure frontal or a no, 360s don't even need that, actually. I don't think so. Can it? I don't even know. I might look it up. But I don't believe you need a headband with that type of hairstyle. So, pretty much you want to make sure your hair is really stuck to your head. So, if it lifts in any way, the headband will catch it. And you can feel it before it drops to the floor. Um, head headbands aren't even that expensive you could get them all this stuff i'm talking about you could get it from your local beauty supply store so yeah uh what else what else i don't recommend if you don't know how to cut hair do not cut your hair especially if you're not the one paying for the hair you're gonna get tight or you're gonna feel guilty I had to practice cutting hair to know how to cut hair. So, yeah. And that's it. But thank you, Nadula, so, so much for this. Guys, do me a favor. Get me to 100 views, please. Because I want to do... I want Nadula to dead sponsor this video. And I want them to send more hair to me because this hair is fly. Call me selfish, but I'll be selfish right now because this hair is cute. This hair is cute. It's giving me 2000s vibes. I'm so serious. All I need are my bell bottoms and my, my tube top <laughs> and my pastel color purse. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything else to say. Like, if you're a regular customer, um, you will not receive this type of a box. They will just give you um, your stuff in a cart. This is cardboard. This is a type of cardboard. It's kind of tough material. Um, they're going to give it to you in the usual, like, Nadula open box type of thing. Um, I got that at first, but when I started ordering from them consistently is when they noticed, like, okay, I'm a consistent customer. They gave me a satin bag in this box. Look how cute this is. I really like how it frames my face. Boy, if I had wore this in high school, I would have sweat out my leave out. Because I, I was that type. Like, I would always have on a... I wouldn't always have on a headscarf, but, like, I would wear one when it came to gym. Make sure y'all are drink I hope my baby mafia is drinking that water. <coughs> This video, I was dead looking forward to, and I'm happy. I, sh I shouted out Nadula Hair. Guys, please, all my females on this channel, please go check them out. They're the real deal. I will 110,000% per recommend them to anybody. But I do recommend just making sure you know your, your hair length. That's another thing. If you are buying hair... Make sure you know the longer the hair, the more expensive it gets. So, yeah. All right, guys. This is the end of the video. So, make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all turn on your post notification bell for the next time I drop my banger video. And make sure y'all subscribe. For all my new baby mafia members, make sure y'all subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell. Like I already said. Make sure y'all spam that like button and make sure y'all y'all watch my next video coming up. Okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am really appreciative. And I want to say before I log off.
thank you guys so much for 120 subscribers thank you so much like it's weirdly enough um i i was at 100 subscribers at some point and i had to start from little to now and it really makes me smile when i see like people actually like my videos and it's crazy like little me who would have thought so thank you guys so much i really really love my baby mafia make sure y'all stay safe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye team thank you for watching this video make sure you like comment and if you're new to the channel subscribe bye baby mafia see you guys in my next video